Hey everyone, Andrew here with ACR Protect. Thanks for stopping by. It's Thursday. It's been a challenging week. Just shut it down. I guess I'm home before daylight ends, so I'll take that victory. Um, out here playing with the dogs. I, uh, I was doing, I was working so many numbers that I just, uh, I couldn't see straight anymore. You ever have that? Any of you folks that work with numbers, just tired. Figured I have a cocktail and, and we're doing something special tonight. Um, this is a beer that I had been on the hunt for <clears throat> for a very long time. Uh, I had heard about it. I had never had it. Um, it's by St. Arnold's and, and I actually, actually know the, uh, some of some of the owners there and uh if you would think if you know them like maybe you'd get the the hookup nah <laughs> i did not i did not get the hookup um in fact i don't i think they they stopped making it and and basically they did a re-release for the 30 year anniversary of saint arnold's grand crew yeah beautiful bottle um this is a uh, double barrel imperial stout. It comes in at, uh, it's either 16.0 or 16.9. I can't tell. Either way, 16%. It's uh, ale aged in bourbon, whiskey, and wine barrels. Um, I just heard amazing things about this beer. And I finally found it. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get in on this here. Sorry, I'm shaking the table. I'm that excited. Of course, St. Arnold's does a little th something in the cap there. This one says, bottoms up. That's cool. It's clever. Got our fancy glass today for a fancy beer. It's gonna be good. Let's get a pour. Look at that. Look at that. Whew. No head on that. Almost, almost black. Pretty much black. I smell the whiskey right away. And, and it's like a, I'm getting sweeter notes. So I'm assuming that is also the, the wine, the red wine that's in there. I'm sure I'm getting a touch of bourbon in there too. Um, so this bottle, uh, they're sold as singles and uh, it was about 10 bucks. 10 bucks for one 12 ounce bottle. I know a lot of girls are like you were an idiot, why are you spending $10 on one one beer? To each their own right, everyone pick your poison. This is mine. So, cheers to you and your families. Hope you're having a good week. We're close to the weekend. Around here is gonna be some nice weather. It's like 80 right now. It's pretty nice out, just sitting, chilling. So, cheers. Let's get in on this. Let's see what this is about. You almost want to start crying. That is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. <clears throat> and it's 16%. At least it's either, again, I, would, I, I should have pulled out my phone and like zoomed in. It's just these old eyes. It's hard to see those little letters there. Um, wow. So you get... Excuse me, I went down the wrong pipe there. Um, you get all of it. Um, it's it's a 
like to describe it, it's a very rich stout with, she just caught that in midair again. She's like a damn ninja. Um, you get the whiskey, you get the bourbon, you get the wine, uh, you get the alcohol. You, you definitely know that it's, it's 16%. It is just a good beer. It just has so much going on. There's, it's so complex. Um, a little bit of carbonation. A little bit more than I expected, to be honest with you. Um, as far as as far as mouth feel, a little bit silky. Um, not overly coating or anything. Just just kind of that silky-esque. It kind of sits there. A little bit of film. That is a good beer. That I mean, it's one of those. This would be a, this would be one to share. You know, you pour one of these and a, probably get about two of these glasses out of it, right? So for a celebration, good friend, family member <clears throat> that you want to sit and enjoy this with. Absolutely. If you're in the, the Houston area, should be able to find it as you span further away. She's caught it again. Shit. Uh, <clears throat> might be a little harder to find. I, I, you, you, you know, our friends in Louisiana can probably get it. Um, if you do some searches, like, like there's some distributors <clears throat> that troll some of these, like these different pages, like, you know, on Facebook, like I'll, I'll, I'm friends with St. Arnold's on Facebook. And I, I had said one time I couldn't find a beer <clears throat> and this guy's like, oh my God, I'll ship it to you. And I thought it was someone from St. Arnold's. No, <clears throat> some dude just has a liquor store trying to ship me some beer. And I appreciate the gesture, but I go find it on my own. But for those of you that aren't around here, you know, you look on these Facebook pages and reach out. There'll be someone that'll, that'll ship this out to you if you want to give it a shot. <clears throat> so I have no idea what that looks like shipping. I always get concerned shipping glass. <clears throat> but it is what it is. <clears throat> so here we go. That's all I got. I've got a delicious beer. I've got two crazy dogs. I've got sunshine coming down, you know, sunset coming and, and uh, some nice weather and a nice weekend. That's what I got coming. What do y'all got coming? So cheers. Y'all take care and we'll catch you next time. We'll see you.